Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about in-painting in Stable Diffusion. And I've prepared an image for that with uh, a Viking standing on shore here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add something uh, to this image. And I'm thinking maybe something in, in this vicinity. Uh, let's try for a... Um, we'll try for a ship. So I've launched Stable Diffusion and this is uh, Automatics uh, Web UI. Uh, I want. I have um, uh, a tutorial of how to install that. Uh, you can find that uh, probably. Well, I'll put the link somewhere. You know, here somewhere, you'll find it. Anyway, so let's go to image to image, and uh, we want to in paint a part of the image, and uh, we'll load our image, the Viking, and. Uh, Let's see here, Viking ship concept art video painting. That should work. Um, let's up the steps, 50-ish, go for LMS. Uh, and this, the mask blur, well, let's, let's draw the mask first and uh, take it from there. So where do we want the ship? Let's draw a mask here. Let's give it some space, fill that in. All right, so the mask blur, if you set this to zero, these edges will be super hard. So you don't want that. You want it to fade into the image. Uh, so, you know, four should be fine. If you set it too high, you know, it will blur all the way in. So you won't get, 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 get an image at all. So let's go back there. Um, and then you can set what kind of content you want here. And this is a little technical, but if you put fill, you're gonna, you know, it takes some uh, part of the background and, and fills more into that, uh, which is, well, let's, let's just say we want more than what's available in the image. Uh, and for that, we need noise. Noise is what uh, Stable Diffusion builds on. So we want to add noise. So uh, stable diffusion can actually work some work with that noise and, and, and create stuff. Uh, and we have the in paint masked. We want one image. Let's up the scale a little, 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 little bit. And uh, the image is, yeah, that should should be about right. So the denoising strength here. That's how much this will change. So let's set this for zero, for example, and see what happens. You can see here that, uh, you know, doesn't work well at all. Just, uh, it's like a, a painting by an um, abstract artist. So let's try and up that to 0.65 again and uh, see where that takes us. You can see here that the image is turning and stable fusion is working. We actually have a Viking ship and you know, our first result is, is pretty good. And we can iterate on this and, and turn it um, maybe a little bit better. And this is all dependent on, on the seed you get. Uh, we have a randomized seed, which is uh, this setting. Minus one is it will randomize every time. If you want to continue to iterate on this seed, you can take this, just you know, put it down here and change the settings, change the prompt, whatever. I'm not going to do that. Let's see if we can find anything, anything else. Now that's very creative. Doesn't look like a ship at all. Well, now it is, it's a little bit, but let's see if we can find something else. There we go. Now that's a nice, decent Viking ship. I like that. And it act, it's actually blended pretty good. I mean, um, you have the shadow here from, from the ship and it's almost in tune with the shadow here. It's a little too blue, but you can adjust that easily in, in Photoshop uh, as well as these lines here. But, you know, for a first result, it's, it's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to show you how to work with more, uh, well, how to, to do more advanced masks. Uh, but before that, if you like this content, just like and subscribe, and uh, that'll help me out very much. So let's talk about masks. This mask is, you know, it's kind of crude. You can't do a lot with it. What we can do is we can upload a mask. So I have 
prepared this image in, in Photoshop. And what we'll do here is we'll take this and just draw a little shape. Now it will be basically be the same uh, as the crude mask we had, uh, we had you know, previously, but uh, this gives us more options. So let's uh, put white here, inverse, make the rest black, save this. Let's call it Viking Mask. Let's go back into Stable Diffusion and uh, we're going to drop our image here, Viking, and then we're going to drop our mask here. And uh, we have, uh, you know, settings are the same. We have the blur, the the latent noise, in paint mask. If you have this reversed, say you, you made this black and this white, you can check in paint not, not masked. Uh, I can show you, um, show you that in a bit. Uh, let's run this. And as before, we're getting the, the same kind of mask, but uh, you know, we have more options of creating an advanced mask if we want to. You know, this turned out pretty good. We even got a little ship uh, back there. So if um, if you've made it the reverse way, it would um, you press that button. And uh, since we didn't make it the reverse way, we'll get this saved. And you know, this is uh, in painted, which is all wrong for us. So we went want the in paint mask. And that's um, basically how you work with in-painting in, in uh, Stable Diffusion. So, you know, try it out. Good luck, have fun.